It's October, baby! <laughs> During the month of October, multiple ocarina ensembles will be producing videos every single day. Um, it's a really exciting time. Uh, we have three ocarina septets in the United States all contributing, including Okabanda and two others. I'll be going over a quick intro of the other two ensembles in a little bit, but it's October! There's a lot of really, really talented, passionate, skilled, hardworking ocarina musicians in the United States. And while the ocarina community is quite small, so in the grand scheme of things, like, there's not going to be a huge audience for October yet, and um, there's not going to be a huge amount of participants yet, uh, the goal in the long run for October is to make an event where... We can share the ocarina with a large community, show the world that there are ocarina ensembles, there are skilled performers, there are people who are passionate with sharing this instrument beyond something that others might consider to just be like a toy, novelty, or something like that. So, I'm gonna switch to a little bit of display capture, and I'm gonna show you the ensembles participating in October. Let's get started. So the first ensemble that is participating in October is uh, Silverwind Ocarinas. So they are the uh, second septet in the United States made up of Ocarina Owl and uh, several other people. Ocarina Owl being uh, a quite notable creator in the Ocarina community who is an educator who... Uh, used to work at an elementary school, and instead of teaching kids with recorders for music, because, like, you know, remember in elementary school, everyone was, like, learning music basics on the recorder way back in, that, way back in the day, um, Ocarina Owl realized, that, and I shared this opinion, that ocarinas are a far better instrument for children to learn how to play music on, and while there's the double-edged sword that, okay, if it's the, if it's the instrument that you do then, it could have the same negative effect of, like, the recorder being seen as a non-serious, childlike instrument. While there is that potential negative externality, what's far more important is A, getting kids invested in music at all, and B, spreading the word of the ocarina at all. My view is that one thing that made the recorder much more problematic compared to the ocarina in terms of vision is that the recorder is much harder to play uh, if you overblow, you'll go up an octave and you have a much higher risk of squeaking, whereas of the ocarina, if you overblow a little bit, you'll just be a little sharp. I really admire uh, what Ocarina Owl has done for the ocarina community, especially with children, and he, I believe, was one of the founding members of Silverwind Ocarinas. So, going back to display capture, um, Silverwind Ocarinas, since uh, October 1st, has been posting a video every single day for October. Uh, it's really impressive what they've all been getting up to, um, starting with, I believe, Into the Unknown, and then they've been posting one every single day. So the schedule for uh, October is first, each ensemble will have solo uh, performances each day, and then, uh, so the first seven days, I believe, are Silverwind, the following seven days are the next ensemble, and the last and the third seven days are Okabanda. So then we will have ensemble ensemble performances at the end of the month, followed by a big surprise at the end. I'm really excited for you all to see the amazing performances of uh, Silverwind Ocarina this week, and next week you'll be able to see Shooting Star Ocarina, who are also another new uh, septet in the United States. Um, I'm really, really happy to see that the, on, the ensemble concept, which of course that's how ocarinas were originally played. Uh, I'm really happy to see the ensembles are taking off a little bit more in the United States because Okabanda was the very first ocarina septet in the United States. Um, and while ocarinas are incredibly niche, well, because ocarinas are incredibly niche, it's been very difficult to have other ensembles pop up and have enough passionate players get involved to make something amazing like this happen. So all I can really ask for you all to do right now is support Sil Silverwind Ocarina and Shooting Star Ocarina for this first half of October to watch their performances, leave a like on their videos, and uh, just see that I am not the only person who talks about ocarinas on the internet. Um, well, actually, I might be one of the only people who talks about ocarinas on the internet, but I'm certainly not the only person who plays the ocarina on the internet. Um, of course, also support Okabanda, my ensemble. We have been going for 
Oh my god, our first performance was in uh, July of 2017, so we've been active for four and a half years now. Oh my god, that's crazy. <laughs> I've been a part of an Ocarina Ensemble for that long, I feel old. But yes, um, support Okabanda, uh, support Shooting Star Ocarina, support Silverwind Ocarina. Uh, Okatober is a exciting month. I've been honestly quite busy. One reason why I haven't streamed is because I've been busy practicing music and recording stuff for um, the ensemble performances I'm involved in. And I still need to pick my solo song. Ah! <laughs> I, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to everybody involved in October. I'll do another uh, s s cycle over of all of the ensembles. There's Silverwind Ocarina doing their performances this week, Shooting Star Ocarina doing their performances the following week, and Okabanda doing performances the week after that, followed by ensemble things. So support these Ocarina ensembles. I will just I will put links to each in the chat. Support the Ocarina people. If you're watching on YouTube, this will be in the description. So, uh, support the Ocarina people. Links are in the description. Uh, like and subscribe for Ocatober. Uh, get, wish me, give me suggestions on what song to play for Ocatober. Bye!